high and welcome to Insta's Monster Loves You or Monster Loves You and I think I would be an awesome monster actually. Wow! Help me begin your story. How does it go again? Long ago deep in the forest monsters called the Veil Mist. Okay. That's right, long, long ago, nestled in the heart of the forest, was the monster village of old. They are born from a slime that holds the memory of monsters known for action and attitude or words and thoughts. Well, let's go for a retard. You're not awake yet, but soon your first eye will open. Your simple dreams will give a way to life itself. You dream of fighting, eating, screaming, or facing fight, the enemies unafraid, or protecting the innocent ones. Now, let's go with bravery. Your body is turned and twisting ground solid in the middle of the great path of green slime. It's time to be born. Well, okay, okay. So we have uh, bravery, cleverness. Ferocity, honesty, and kindness. Well, if we can be a scary man, I think we can go with bravery and ferocity, and that's basically it. You are like in the growing season when the forest is erupting with color. Onward! Your eyes open, there are more so. That's a very boring. You float in the spawning bath. Thousands of other monsters are exploring, flailing, and stealing food from each other. Try to swim or kick out your legs. Hmm. So many options. Uh, what to do? Let's try. You bend and squirm, make your tiny legs grow and strengthen. Swim around the spawning. The legs are strong, but more importantly, you feel no fear. Damn straight, man. I think the bravery shows that. You pattern in the circle and go back and forth, ignoring other monsters who hiss and spit at you. Why would they spit at me? And the monster swims towards you, it opens its mouth to sow a uh, set of small sharp teeth, it bites you. Owie! Swim away from the toothy muscle. What? This is intolerable. Stop the biting. You pause, unable to believe that another morsel is trying to eat ya. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Is the resist to kill or unite? Nah, no, don't unite. Let's fucking kill it. Wow! You rip into the violent morsel. Just fangs, but you have claws. Keep fighting, Vach. The first snarl, excellent. When the fight is over, you shoo in the other morsel's eye. Disgusting. It is all that remains. So the morsel, right? Okay, we are one disgusting bastard now. Well, shouldn't all monsters be like this? Plus, flutter, splish, squeak, and the morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking to at the bottom of the spawning. So we ignore it, the uh, shit happens. Oh no, that's uh, terrible. Well, I. Let's ignore it. You better sorry as well, looking to live your own life without thinking about the end of another's. Well, <laughs> I don't think a monster should actually care for us. You have grown too big for this one event. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monstering. Uh, you don't ask for advice, I think, so... You're going to get into some trouble, which is great, okay. Uh, exercise your bravery, cleverness, first kindness and honesty. What kind of monster would you be? In the rule cave, okay. Well, that advice was pretty bad. 
I already knew that. But these I still don't know really now. Uh, smoke falls from the high ledge. It falls all the time. But wait, what's that? It's a big bat trying to gnaw pieces of him. Uh, he looks happy though. So they separate them, uh, tackle the bat, or shepherd. Uh, that's probably way too mean, but. <laughs> Let's do it there. Oh fuck, man. Okay, you you wave your arms and try to come up with a song of bat support. It's not very good. Gob claws and blistery run over and drive the bat away. Everybody frowns at you, especially smart. Well, uh, sorry, I guess. Come on, it was still hilarious to pass on. Well, we have plenty of ad adventures, so hopefully we get some uh, extra points. Uh, what should we take? A snake. What's that noise from this blowing mat? I guess a snake. You rush over a big snake, indeed. It's eating helpless muscles. They moan and cry, but it doesn't stop. Bring it down, bitch. Not okay, brave. Okay, we got some ferocity. You hunker down at the outer end of the vat and eat a few morsels. The great ice covered eldest storms in a rose of you. And I'm not scared. I, I guess I am now because I got minus uh, prairie uh, points. She swats you to the cave floor and jerks at your throat the snake that it saved to eat mosses. Well, it is actually. Uh, I shall repair the damage myself. She swallows the snake in one gulp and kicks you up. She basically did the same. The snake was eating mosses and she ate the snake. So. She's a snake herself. Well, a bigger snake. Let's take the fox. A roly-poly fox stumbles into the brood cave, leans against a rock and cough. Cough. It looks badly at you and the other monsterings, showing no fear. Well, I guess he looks friendly, so... The fox says, Hello, I'm a talking cough. <laughs> Hucky, hack, hack, cough. Tell me the rules and speeds. It's really sick. Should I help it or slow? No, don't slaughter a uh, sick fox. I just mind my own business. Hmm, help. Let's try with help. Okay, finally some points. Nask Nas reaches for fox, but you slap her claws away and gently lift it in your arms. We carry the fox to Elder Marinos, who promises it will nurse back to her. That's one cool picture. Is that the nasty uh, Looks like the devil. Well, we got points, but we got kindness. I don't really want to be kind in this. Hamrak, an adult monster, sleeps in a big pile of monsterlings. Everyone is comfortable. Comfy. Lots giggling sticks lichen in all four of Hamrak's nostrils. Hamrak's eyes shoot open as he starts to choke. Uh, blood shushes you with a threatening scowl. Scowl? You're not afraid of plots. Help Hamrak. That's funny. Mm, well, he's basically the mean one, so. Should I hit Pamrak? Or Blots? I... Blots, Dita, so... Okay, let's hit Pamrak. He jumps on Pamrak's head and knocks some of the little loose. He squeezes and gasps. Then remembers that he can breathe through his mouth. 
that's uh, pretty smart of him. Uh, Hamrak glowers down past his jaws, scowling as though who hadn't saved him. He roars and demands to know who plucked up his nose. Cover for plots, not the truth. I guess that will give us honesty points. And the other one will maybe give bravery, I, I guess. Or kindness, maybe. Mm. Let's go for... Let's be honest. Uh, plus, that's too much fun. Plots did it, that bitch. Hamra tanks you, grabs Plots and sits on him, all of Plots pet fooses out and can't inhale again. Hamrak stays there for a good long while. That was pretty me actually. The hard way to us leaving becoming an adolescent. Firm up your personality as much as you can. Well that's what I'm doing. Thank you very much. And uh, let's go with open mouth. El Marinas floats in a pool of cave water, puffing her body like a burpweed. She points at something deep under water. Will you get that for me, little one? But you can't swim. Who the hell is El Marinas? And CERN, you're not afraid, but I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, figure out another way to get the thing out of the water. Tell her you could do it, but you don't feel like that's kind of mean and rough. Not really monster like, just bitch like. Uh, you jump right into the water and uh, trash your way down. You can't see very well and you lose your bearings. Marina scoops you out of the water, empty claw, and smiles at you. Uh, why is you you failed to wait yourself. Well, I tried at least. There are many things a monster can and can't do. One thing you can do is drown. Well, that's correct. Uh, I didn't get anything just advice. Okay. I think I should have got some bravery points. It was a bold move. Three gangly adolescent monsters wander into the cave and start poking gub claws with sticks. She tries to get away but they surround her. Blistery starts to cry. <laughs> oh man, what a cry baby. Get involved and stop the bidding. Christy shuts and know it all. Who cares about the two bullets? Looks like fun. You can get a stick and help her. Oh, that's too me. Let's be brave. You approach to the conflict. No way you can fight them all. Of course I can fight them all. Oh yeah, keep your stick stays. Oh yeah, my claws. Eat my claws. You will into the first monster along bird-like legs. She leaks red slime as you move on to the stomach of the next bird. They flee, convinced a small army is attacking them. But that's one arm, one man army. A one monster army. I guess we can get two more adventures. At adventures, Elder Jaggery walks into the cave, rocking from foot to foot. He howls and slams into a wall, then falls and moving to the floor. Monsterling scatter away from his still fall. Should I touch him or stand back and observe or someone cut the head? Well, hmm, I guess examine it would be cleverness, I guess. You've never seen a monster look like this before. Um, usually you can get smashed to a bulb and be up on your feet again by dinner time. Yagri, what the fuck? Ellie Yagri walks into the, uh, into the cave, rocking from foot to foot. He howls and slams in the wall. On the force, I'm moving to the claw. That rhymes. Uh, Muslings scared away from his little four. Okay, let's help him. He 
you creep away afraid but determined and see a human with a knife stuck in Jagger's back. He's leaking you from the wound. You think he might die before help can get there. Well, just pull the fucking knife out. Oh, at friends new surgery, okay, thanks. You grasp the knife in your little claws and pull, then rock it back and forth and pull some more. I guess a red covers you, and Jaggery starts to breathe normally, okay. And that was a success, so one more. Let's not, not uh, think now. You, Nask Nas, I'm pleased to a wrestling near a big clay jar. You knock the jar off its legs and it breaks into a hundred pieces. You catch El Marinus out of the corner of your eye. Uh, so be honest and uh, a damn fuck or take the blame of that to good again to make good and repair it. Uh, hmm. That's pretty evil. But I can't pass, maybe. Mm. What to do? Okay. Honest approaches. Shake your head. Run, run away. You plea. Blood follows you. Scared out of his wits. And you, Elemanus Ross. Who broke my goddamn jar? Well, uh, uh, okay. Well, we got a bravery, okay? It's too late. Please tell us out that you Marino shakes her head that you make a tss 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 sound with her spines. Well, we got bravery back. Oh my, you wake up and find that you're no longer a little monster in you growing up. And the Marinos calls the oldest monsterlings to gather in a group. You're one of the oldest ones now, so you should join them. She looks grave. Grave? Grave? Okay, let's go with it. I'm gonna shove us down the long tunnel, turn this way and that among dozens of forking passages. And I guess just keep going. Marinades, some um, Marinos. Uh, stops in a warm, uh, humid chamber with a pit in the floor. The points to the pit with sea tests with thick mist. So we jump away. You fall and fall some more. And you fall and you fall in, and other mustangs are falling. Yes, some of them are crying, and you can't see through the mist. Or is it for maybe clouds? Long sun grows and whispering screams. Where am I? You land on a smooth flat stone. Despite the swirling in paper, the floor is dry as bone. You hear other monsterlings breathing nearby. Some of them are still above you, still falling. Get out of the way. So the crash and the fall of my... Uh, I don't want hugs. You rejoin some of the monsterlings at the edge of the mist. There are more passages out of here than you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic while others look to their mind. We take shots. The other monsterlings watch you, curious. Lead the way, personal, personally. Let's last that. <laughs> Let's last them. Fuck off. <laughs> A horsey monsterling whimpers in the fog, and you, you, you fuck. You know, you flick your claws and throwing a little blood on the lot of noise. A few howls and shriek cow the others in the silence. Explore in an orderly fashion now that someone's in control. You soon discover that all the passage covers in the yet and the mist filled chamber. The mist here is even thicker and you quickly lose sight of the other muslings. That's okay, take cowards anyway. <sighs> <sighs> the chamber swills with mist, smog fog vapor. Expect it's not any of those things. It's ghost, hundreds of large and small. They're everywhere. Sp nah, uh, I have bravery, I shouldn't be scared. One by one, the pair goes to begin to turn the attention to you. The eyes go different colors. So, no, stand fast, I, I, I guess. 
the ghost speak in many voices uh, are hollow and distant or in unice songs they ask you do you fear yes this is scary or attack them wait a mm, attack them of course you scream a leap the ghost uh, in substantial swirling around the claws like nothing at all nothing at all <laughs> nothing at all stupid spectral monsters they laugh at you and prove that they're not entirely untouchable tin tendrils of mischief on your throat and begin to squeeze let's pass out end of muscling hood okay. so they are dumb as fuck and uh, they are brave and ferocity yeah, a little bit honest and oh, actually, really nice. That's bad, I think. I'm not really sure if I should get all the points or not. You wake up inside a well appointed hall. This is your home now. Hmm, start living as a mad and monster. Wow, I'm one handsome monster. Holy shit, I'm ugly. Uh, okay, I guess we get eight days left, uh, eight adventures here, so let's take those other adventures in the next episode. Uh, please like and favorite if you enjoyed this. Uh, this was very different and uh, new for me and hopefully I can read faster in the next episode. Bye!